Hey, has anyone ever told you your webcam sucks? <laughs> I hope not. And if they did, you got the right video. Uh, there's this application that turns your iPhone or Android into a powerhouse, clean HDMI, full functioning, somewhat like a camera. You get great results. Hey, let me show you real quick. Yo guys, what's the deal? My name is Joshua Lopez and I'm here to help you grow and elevate your live streaming gaming experience. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. And if you have any questions about the, this video, previous videos, go ahead and hit me up on Twitch because I stream pretty regularly. I like to answer any questions you have and maybe drop a comment down below as well. But as you can see, I'm positioned a little bit differently. I have an extra camera. This is actually my iPhone and I'm using the Filmic Pro application. I figured I'd do my intro like this because I wanted you to see the video quality it produces. Now there's a lot of alternatives when doing everything and just because you can do something one way doesn't mean it's the best way. But I feel like this indeed is the best way. I'm going to be adding this as a second camera to my live stream setup. That's how much I like it. So I guess we can get into it. All right. So what is Filmic Pro? Filmic Pro is an application that takes your phone and pretty much makes it as a full functioning camera. Pretty much the settings you would have in a camera you get on your phone. The cool thing about this is that there was a recent update that gets you clean HDMI. This is what gives us the opportunity to stream with it, that we can get this very best high quality video signal. Now it's not the actual application that gives you the quality. It all depends on your phone as well. It just gives you the function. Now you do have to buy a couple things in order to get this application running 100%, but I feel it's way better than a webcam and price to performance when it comes to a video camera beats it out of the water. It's kind of a no brainer. That's why I've added this into my personal live stream setup. All right, so there's a couple of things that you're gonna need in order to get this running. One, of course, you're gonna need a phone, Android or iPhone. You'll need a capture card. Now I'm using the cam link, but you can also get the Amazon special right here. It's like 15, 20 bucks. It works great if you don't wanna pick up the cam link. Me personally, I'll go with the cam links because I want to get the best quality. Next thing, of course, HDMI cable, no brainer. And then you're going to need a HDMI adapter in order to connect to your phone. Now, because I do have an iPhone, I'm using the dedicated Apple one because I do get a charge port right there. So I'm able to charge and stream at the same time. The last thing I want is my phone to die. There goes the video signal. Now the items that I'm choosing to use is because I want to get that best quality, but you can get like a no name HDMI adapter. You can go ahead and get the Amazon special um, HDMI, this one, the uh, capture card, but it's up to you. Now let's go ahead and run through the actual application itself. I'm going to be showing you how I use it. I'm not going to do a full tutorial because it's kind of self-explanatory. You plug it in and you'll see. I'll go through the different things and you'll know where to go in order to get this hooked up. So the first thing is just taking a look at this whole thing. The bottom left, you get the color temperatures. If I press this right here, I can change pretty much everything as far as the color. Now you have a couple settings. They're really cool depending on your lighting and setup. But I honestly just run the auto white balance that helps me just get a better picture quality so that I can match both of my cameras. Now you can get some extra stuff right here, but you got to pay for that. And also if I go ahead and click this, I get a couple other settings. If you're really into photography, you'll know exactly what it is. If you don't, it's okay, guys, you don't have to know. If I press the setting button right here. This is pretty much all the features it has, which is really good. So we'll click the resolution and it's going to show you all of the sizes that you can have however you want to record. Now you can also crop overlays. If you go a little bit lower, you can get different resolutions. I just keep it the HD 1080p, but you can even do 2K or 3K, even 4K. That's huge. But remember, it's not the application that's gonna give you the quality, it's your phone. If your phone is capable, it's gonna have that option unlocked. Now, if I go down here, I can get some settings as far as the quality. Now I have it on Filmic Extreme. I want the best quality, 
this one does rely on the actual application but you can go lower you got filmic quality apple standard and economy so it really depends like if you want your storage to be bigger or smaller you're running out of space you know and then high efficiency codec you can change it there as well so let's go back frame rate i honestly will run this at 30 frames it's the standard but if you want more of a cinematic look you can go down to even like 24. if you want slow-mo you can go to 120 to 40. i don't have that setting set up on my phone right now so that's why i can't click it but you can capture 240 25 26 it's crazy so the audio this is huge guys so you know you're having this as a webcam it also has audio go through the hdmi so if you have like a lapel or some type of speaker on here it's going to transfer the audio as well not only the video signal which is uh, a huge relief as you can see on this right side as i'm talking i got the voice meter right there so you can choose the back or you can even choose the front microphone depending on whatever your scenario is you can change the kilohertz and here it is bluetooth microphone video only so if i only wanted to have the video only i can turn the sound off um we'll have it like that in this case i have video only off because i'm getting the audio as well auto gain correction and voice processing now let's go over to device you can save this onto the camera roll kind of what i'm doing right here orientation lock i should actually turn that on and then stitch recorded footage if you're doing multiple sessions it's going to put it both together and snap focus preview active and tap to hide interface it's really cool it has different presets if you were to save one for one time and one for another and then the cms is just kind of if you save a video you can put a name you can have timestamps on it so you know if you're doing some heavy editing you can keep track of it like that so as we get into hardware, this is where it's very important. This is how you're gonna get the clean HDMI. So as you can see, the first thing it says, clean HDMI out, you wanna make sure that that is on. This is the setting that gives us the clean HDMI. You can also have the audio over HDMI. I don't do that, but you can. I got my own microphone right here. If you choose to, you can also run it through there if you have like the lapel mic or any other microphone attached to your camera and say you have any hardware as far as like a, a dgi or like the smooth 4 or the cinema robot these are tools that have the software with the application that helps it more easier let's move on over to the sync i can sync everything like if i like a cloud you know how that is and community if you need any help first light you have to download something else i'm not worried about that it also has a stabilization i have that on as you can see it just turned off but i have that just for some better quality and then the camera right here this is really cool since i have the iphone 11 pro i get three different uh, lenses on here i have it on the normal wide but i can have it on the ultra wide as well and then i can have it on tele if i wanted to i can use zoom and check this out of course selfie so yeah you can't see me like that anyway so you can do different types of angles whatever you prefer double take is something cool i'm actually going to exit out of that but you have to download another application for that boat it allows a front view and a rear view so say you're doing like a podcast you're able to have two different angles which is huge so pretty much as far as the interface that's what it is it's nice so now getting into some of the settings of the actual camera we can hit again we got the white balance right here but right to the right of that we have our iso and if you click it it gets locked but what i like to do on this one is i'd like to have it as low as possible before it starts getting like too dark honestly when i have it set up as my webcam or my extra video i have it around the 115 range super sensitive so you have to be very slow with it it's very hard to get it but you can see and then i just press it and i lock it and then i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna change my shutter to 60 double what i'm shooting right now 
So that's pretty cool. You can also focus right here on the right. I got manual focus. And if I click it again, uh, it goes to auto. If I press the zoom, I can zoom in just like that. It's really cool. And um, it's sick. So this is what I use. So now let me show you how to set it up. It's really easy. Go ahead and take your capture card, plug your capture card into your HDMI cable, plug this side into your computer. Once you do that, you can go ahead and get this side. Take your adapter, your HDMI adapter, plug this right in, get your phone, plug it into your phone, turn on the application. Once you're inside of your application, go to hardware setting like we just discussed earlier and make sure your clean HDMI is toggled on. All right there. You can't see the words, but you can see the toggle. Once that's done, go into OBS, add a video source, and you're going to see that if your capture card is there, pick the capture card and it's going to give you this signal. It's really easy. So let's go ahead and talk about the price. If you went the route that I went with the cam link and the actual Apple certified HDMI adapter, you're going to pay about 190. If you compare that to a $100 C920, you're paying $100 extra, but you're still getting way better quality. You're still getting way cheaper than an actual camera as well. And it looks just as good. I set up this as a little social experiment to see what people thought. And I had people saying some high end cameras. I laughed a little bit because I know, but to the normal eye, no one really knows. Now there's alternatives. If you go with the Amazon special HDMI capture card and you go with just a generic HDMI adapter for your phone, you can spend, I think I have it here, $66. And that also includes an HDMI cable. So $66 is way cheaper than $100 C920 webcam. And it's way superior when it comes to functionality and actual real world results. So again, here it is because I really want you to see the quality of this camera. Colors are great. Great. I'm sharp. I'm not blown out. I got like super light right here. I got super light right there and everything looks really natural as if it was a real camera. But even if you don't want to use this as your main camera, there's so much more you can do with this. So at any time you can pick the camera up and you can move it around. Or if you want a camera for your mouse and keyboard so you can see your gameplay, there you have it. Honestly, there's so much that you can do with this and for the price it's just stupid cheap $15 for the app $66 for the equipment and you're still lower than a c920 way better results think about that so there you have it guys this is literally a webcam killer the quality is superb the price is pretty perfect and it's not gonna break the bank so again if you have any questions if there's something more that you want to know let me know down below in the comments also, I stream regularly on Twitch, so hit me up there. We can hang out, we can chat, talk about whatever you want to talk about. So if you found this video to be valuable to you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out, and hit that like button. We would like to really take this channel off so I can help you more. We got a couple stuff lined up and I'm super excited for you guys, but it's you that makes it possible. So in the meantime, guys, you game up.